is so beautiful out today. No wind to speak of. The beautiful fire pit behind us. Lord, in God's holy mercy, is just welcoming all of us to this day of resurrection. This day when we shout, Hosanna, we shout, Alleluia, Christ the Lord is risen. He is risen indeed. We will now have a call to worship. Please join me. Christ the Lord is risen. The stone has been removed from the tomb. The power of death is ended. The grave clothes have been abandoned. The hesitation are over. Hope is alive, new horizons call. Oppression and injustice are shattered. Christ the Lord is risen. Please join us in the opening hymn, Christ the Lord is risen. Mike, would you please lead us off? I'll try. Christ the Lord is risen today. Easter morning. Amen. A reading from John 20, 11 through 18. Jesus appears to Mary Magdalene. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and she wept. As she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, please tell me where you've laid him and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and she told them that he had said these things to her. Here ends the reading of God's holy word. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Well, I've got papers fluttering here. <laughs> there, let's just put that back up. All right. Well, she came in the darkness, hiding in the shadows from the Roman soldiers, until she found the tomb. How strange, the stone had been rolled away and then she ran to Peter and the other disciple, the disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them that the Lord was not in the tomb, that they had taken him away. Anguish and fear, the shame. The disciples couldn't even protect him in death. 
They were afraid to go to the cemetery. They were afraid of being arrested for being his followers. The horrors of crucifixion were still in their mind. They didn't linger. They left Mary Magdalene alone. She refused to leave. Weeping, looking in the tomb, seeing and talking with angels, looking for her Lord, speaking to the gardener outside the tomb, refusing to let fear rule, being brave, asking the gardener if he had carried him away. And then the one whom she thought was the gardener said her name, Mary, and she knew and she found her Lord. She had found her Lord. This lone woman would be the Lord's messenger to the disciples, a message of ascension to be, a message of hope that death could not contain, a simple message that says all, I have seen the Lord. They tried. On the tree of the cross, they tried to kill hope. Instead, God transformed that cross into a tree of life, a tree of hope and love. We need not fear death. Death cannot conquer love. No matter how hard it tries, love is always the answer. And Jesus, who suffered the tree of the cross, died and was buried and was raised on the third day. Jesus was, is, and will always be the emblem of hope in the world. He will always be hope. And that, my good friends, that is good news. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Let us come together and say the prayer that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us to pray. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. Let us sing together the closing hymn, This is the Day. Let's sing it through twice. Let's be bold. Yeah, brave. <laughs> Full of hope. Are you ready, Mike? I don't know this one, but you'll have to Oh, read. no. Do you all know this one? <laughs> this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. This will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Gracious Holy God, we give you thanks for this beautiful, beautiful morning. Lord, make us the hands and the heart of Christ as we go forth this Easter morn, this day of resurrection. Be with us in the name of all that is holy, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And let the people say, Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.